Hello, and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we advanced further through the dungeon, the Cave of Flames, and we found the big key for this door. We're about to go in and fight the boss. So here we are, generic, before boss room, collect hearts, you're gonna need very- oh, I should have caught that in the bottle. <laughs> right, let's get the bottle ready just in case there's any more. As with most Zelda dungeons, you kind of want the thing that you found in the dungeon equipped when you fight the boss. I think you need it for this one, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have it equipped anyway. So here we are, and with a cave with a pool of lava. And here we have Gleerock, boss of the Cave of Flames, and guardian of the fire element. So that's gonna be the fight. So it's generic fire spinning attacks. So what you want to do is flip a shell upside down and he drops his head, so you run onto his head and attack the middle part of his body. Obviously you want to get off him before he does that. And then afterwards, when you've hit him, uh, that happens. Box four, box I don't think you can hit him when... Okay, so you need to get kind of to the side or behind him. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, it's going well so far. So there's another stage of his combat as well, where, like now, where the lava rises, you kind of only have a path to go around the edge. It stops before it gets to you, but you have to stay at the very edge. Okay, so while it's glowing, you can't actually do anything. Again, and just keep moving around. Obviously, get the fire in your way, collecting hearts, dodging boulders from the sky. He like guessed where I was going. Anyway, um, this should be the last one. There we go. Blue Rock has been defeated. Glee, of course, does not rock. It sucks quite terribly. Anyway, now we have the fire element. As you'd expect in the Cave of Flames. Hooray! You got the fire element. Flames bring light and darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. Okay, so as with every dungeon, you get a piece of heart and a portal out. Your life energy has increased and been replenished. Hooray! So now we have six hearts. That was hot. It was so hot, I thought my fibers would catch fire. It's over now. I suppose we should go back and speak to Malara. I suppose we should. Let's back down here. And... Shrink down. Back into the mines. And... Down here, I think? Yeah. And look, the, the blade has been rebuilt. I swear, I swear, I'm not so fast that I didn't finish the sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. So it's not the Pickery Blade yet. It's a beautiful white blade, sparkles with light. You 
put away your grandfather's sword now. Once you infuse it with the power of all of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The forest elder no doubt told you this part, but if you want to infuse a sword, you must go to the elemental sanctuary. It's a strange realm trapped between two worlds. It's the bridge between the village world and the human world. The doorway to the sanctuary opens only once every hundred years. So it's in Hill Castle, the sanctuary. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to break the curse on the princess. I know you can do it, after all, you made short work with that human mind. Let me tell you about a shortcut. You just get that from the mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance of the line just explore. Okay. Okay, thanks Malari. Let's get out of here. So we're gonna wanna go back to normal size. And then this is the place before where that hole was we couldn't go into it. Obviously now we can with the kind of packing. We're not really going to need to come back up here. So let's get back down the mountain. And find the elemental sanctuary in the Royal Castle. Oh, there's a shortcut to the bottom over this side, I think. Go down here. Yep. Back to the Trilby Highlands now. <laughs> I always knock him in the walls, just in the perfect position. So, yeah, these are key turns. I think if they hit you head on, they steal rupees, but I'm not sure. So you can get kind of stone pieces from drops as well. They're also in rocks and grass. Um, so be on the lookout, basically. So back in Harul Town, um, I'm sure there's people we can fuse kinstones with. Uh, one of these guys, I think. It's gotta be someone. Maybe in the cafe. Hurdy gurdy man. Okay, so we we have one that fits, so Oh no, I don't wanna go. I keep pressing the R button. Such a moron, right? Okay. So, yes. They fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. It does. So that's in Hyrule Castle. That pond. And there's actually a staircase underneath. Castle Garden, so we'll have to go and look at that in a minute. Now we get happy. Oh, okay, anyway. Let's go back to the castle to find all well, that secret we just got and the sanctuary. The elemental sanctuary thing that Malari spoke of. Okay, so there's God there. Oh, we can't actually go in there yet. Oh well. Anyway, so to find the sanctuary. <laughs> to find the sanctuary you wanna go inside your old castle. Here it is. 
this is the entrance to the sanctuary. See how that door glows? Could that be the door that leads us to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems to be able to see it but you and me. Let's go. Okay. Yep, so this is this is the sanctuary. Door slam shut behind us. There seems to be some kind of altar up there. This is where we can fuse a blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle. Let's go place the sword in the center. Now the two elements that we have. The sword becomes a red colour. Okay, so now the powers of the earth and fire elements we have have infused your blade. Let's see if I can't read that tablet for you. Feel your sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. What are you waiting for? Try not to. Okay, so you're going to want to charge your sword up as if you're going to do a spin attack. And then stand on these panels and it will create like a clone. And you use this for various puzzles throughout the game. I guess you can double yourself like that anytime you see those panels. Okay, so now to get out of this place, you have to go down here and press these two things at the same time, so you need to clone yourself. Step on that one, that one. Make sure you hold down the button, else it releases it. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh well. But now it's open, we can go through. Get out of the center. Search for the rest of the elements. With each element, you gain another clone. So when we get the next one, there'll be three clones. The last one will have a maximum of four clones. So now we're going to leave for the castle. And we're actually going to go back to Mount Crenna. So I'll cut it here, and I'll see you there.